start of a day in the life of a medical records clerk, a health information management, HIM associate too, HIM clerk, child, whatever the title is. It's so many titles. Shake that thing up. That's all you do. Shake it up. Lay back and crack this window. Hey y'all, this is the day in the life of a health information management clerk. But first, y'all, we gotta stop and get us some gas, y'all. I hate pumping gas. I am sick of pumping gas. And then we gotta have a little gospel mo motivation. We gotta have a little gospel concert, y'all. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. This will be a start of a day in the life of a medical records clerk, a health information management, HIM associate too, HIM clerk, child whatever the title is. It's so many titles. But yeah, that's what this will be a start of that. Um my coworkers kind of beat me in their well, the release of information person, she tends to beat me <laughs> into the workplace. So I probably won't be doing much talking like normal, but this will probably be like some sort of voiceover or something. But I'll show y'all what I do now since we have a new system and then we have the computer on wheels, which is called the cow. And I'll take y'all upstairs. I will try to take y'all upstairs. Y'all know when I work the weekends, um, it was easier for me to bring y'all along with me. But being that I don't work on the weekends now, <laughs> there's more people here dur during the week. So we're going to make it do what it do. We'll try to make it do what it do. And I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, y'all, the first thing I do is log in to see how the census look and see how many babies we have, child, because this is how I get my day started if I'm going to be in a good mood or a bad mood with these babies. Okay, I printed the list and I seen that I only had three, so let me go on um, fill my water bottle up. Um... Drop it back off at the office, and then go to the ER and the surgery department to pick up the charts. Okay, y'all, I like to get myself prepared to go upstairs for the, to do the birth certificates before I start anything. So I give them all the necessary paperwork. I give them all the legal documents that they need, the FAQ sheets, the location where they go pick up their baby's birth certificate, and all of that before I start anything. I make sure that I have enough envelopes, make sure the iPad is charged up, and I print my list out, my patient list, to take upstairs to scan and do the birth certificates. Okay, y'all, I just put me on a crime show, put my earbuds in, and now I'm about to go to the Text Ever website to show y'all how I put in the um, information for the baby's birth certificate. This pop-up is telling me that I had so many um, birth certificates that are late and that I need to get done. To start the form, you need to um, click born in this facility or en route to this facility. If they had twins, triplets, or just one child, and then you put in the baby's information. If they want the social security card, you click yes, put the mom's information, and then you click save. And this will start a birth certificate, a new birth certificate. And then you just have to complete the tabs on the left hand side from the mom's prenatal records, the dad's info, and also the physician's information as well. <clears throat> 
these are all the birth certificates that I had from this weekend. So now I'm about to call the parents to verify their email address so I can send them all the information. They are married, so it's easier to just email them everything instead of having them to come out and sign. The birth register here, calling about your baby's birth certificate. And instead of you guys having to come back out here to sign, I can send everything to your um, email and you can sign and send back to me if that's okay. Okay, what's your email address? Yeah, I already know what time it is. A sister need a snack, child. Y'all know I ain't, I'm trying not to eat chips so much, so I'm going to do a little chip substitute. I got some wheat thins and I got some hummus. And we're going to make it do what it do. Child, it is good, though. I mean, that Como is good. Right now, I am emailing the patient that I just spoke with about the birth certificate, and I'm sending her all the information, and she can sign and send back to me, and that'll be it for that one. I'm about to go upstairs and scan the chart. We call it concurrent scanning where we scan on a daily basis into the uh, patient's chart. And I'm also about to check on these birth certificates because I called the parents earlier and ain't nobody answering the phone. So I'm gonna, you know, kill two birds with one stone. I'm gonna go up there and scan and I'm also gonna do the birth certificates. So I'll just let y'all know. Okay. at 11 o'clock. We are now on the fourth floor starting on these birth certificates and I am confused. The writing on this birth worksheet is horrible but I'll fix it. I'm just going to guesstimate and then I'll fix it once I get in the room. Because child I would not be going back and forth into these rooms asking what is this and what is that. No ma'am. Mm -mm. But now I am getting the uh, stuff ready for the parents to sign. And then that's it. Okay, y'all, the parents just signed the iPad. Now I'm about to print out the verification of birth facts, the location where they where they can pick up their birth certificate, and also um, like a FAQ sheet. So yeah. Okay, here's our little cabinet with all our supplies. I forgot my copy stamp downstairs. I know I did, I know I forgot it. Normally we would have to stamp the verification of birth facts with the copy stamp. And I ain't, well, it just won't get stamped today. Okay, y'all, I am done with that birth certificate. Now I am doing another one. I love it when they come back to back like this one. But this one is single. So they have extra paperwork to fill out and extra documents to uh, read and blah, blah, blah. So let me get started on this. So we basically have to read them this whole page. Make sure they understand everything and then they can sign. This is another document that the parents have to fill out, which is called the parent survey. This is after they sign the acknowledgement of paternity. So they initial everything that they, to make sure they understood everything. They print their name and they sign and that'll be it. And also this is the verification of birth facts. This is how it looks. And this is the acknowledgement of paternity. And they have to make sure that everything is correct on there as well. Now we are headed to the second floor to scan those two units. Okay, y'all, I just made it back into the office. Um, it's past time for me to eat my lunch, so I'm going to uh, grab me a energy drink, a Celsius or something, because I forgot mine at home. Go to my car, and I'm going to eat. Mm. Oh child, okay y'all, we are on my lunch. I'm so thirsty. 
Oh Lord. It's way past my dog doggone lunchtime. I ate earlier some hummus, thinking it was gonna kind of, you know, curb my little appetite because I had like hummus and a few little wheat things. But child, <laughs> Christy is hungry. I might have to. I might need more than this little salad, y'all. I don't know. But I got this salad. This is the buffalo ranch um, salad. Child, this one is full. I, I normally don't use all the lettuce because it's just a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. But yeah, y'all. Um, when I went upstairs, I did all the, I did the birth certificates for the day. Well, it was only, it was three, but I only did two because one mom just had her baby like a couple of hours ago. So I normally don't bother them <laughs> until like the, maybe the eighth or the ninth hour, or I'll just wait until the next day. Um, and normally when we go upstairs, we have to scan the charts on a daily basis, which is called, like I said, it's called concurrent scanning. And normally, like if you scan the charts on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, they probably won't have anything in the charts. So they really, they didn't have anything in the charts. So I ended up just grabbing the discharge paperwork, which the nurses will put like a stack in our little tray of the patients that has been discharged for the day or that was discharged last night or something. And I will pick those up and I will do those in my office. Meaning like I will prep those charts and put them in the system. Prepping means making sure all the labels and the document, all the labels are on the correct patient, basically. I basically prep the charts for them to be put in the system. Anyways, y'all, this chop, this salad comes with uh, it's the romaine lettuce, red and savoy cabbage, broccoli, green onions, carrots, buffalo season um, croutons, crouton crumbles, Monterey Jack cheese, and buffalo ranch dressing. And then I'm gonna use the um, the um, hot buffalo tuna creations. Well, this one is the right. I may just. So I may just mix them up. Okay, y'all. This is how everything looks. I have I put everything in the bowl. You gotta get to bring your own bowl, child. Bring your own bowl. I haven't put the dressing on there yet, but I'm about to do that now. And then, y'all, we just put this top on here. Make sure it's on there good now. And you shake that thing up. That's all you do. Shake it up. Oh, I'm so ready for this salad. Everybody is on lunch and I smell all the food. Do you hear me? Even the food in the cafeteria was smelling good. And you notice <laughs> the patients when I went in for the birth certificate child, the dad done brought some chili with some sour cream and bacon and cheese. I'm like, <laughs> I'm hungry. And normally I will eat my lunch before I go, you know, do the birth certificates and all that. But I was like, let me just go ahead and knock this out the way because as soon as I take my lunch, if I were to take my lunch at 11 o'clock today, they would have been calling for the birth certificate. So, I'm glad I went ahead and knocked that out, child. And, um, yeah, I did that. Oh, I may put some hummus on here. Oh, child. I'm excited. But this is how it looks when it's all shaken up, y'all. I didn't use all the lettuce because that was a lot of they give you a lot. This can probably feed two. But I didn't use all that lettuce, child. But let me. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. And I mixed the buffalo um, tuna with the ranch. Because, child, mm, I'm hungry. Child, come back in and I see a doggone um, voicemail from a parent from last weekend. But anywho, y'all, we will worry about that later. But now I'm about to uh, scan these discharges I got from upstairs. I will put the patient label right there. I will scan the documents into the chart. Um, this is how the process goes. We click on grayscale and then it automatically scans in. And then I will put the document type on there, which this one is a patient education form. So I will click on patient education and then I will hit OK and then it will be automatically in the patient's chart.
And then once I'm done, I put scan on the um, document that I just scanned in, and then I'll staple it, and then I'll put it to the side and start on the next one. Okay, y'all, I got one more birth certificate to do from this weekend. And then I have to call them so they can sign. <sighs> one more. Okay, y'all, everything is checked in green, so now I can call the parents. Register here. I was just calling about your baby's birth certificate. If you can give me a call at 682. Girl, now it's time to pack up and go home. It's been a long day, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Well, it's one, baby, can you handle? handle if you really want it, better come get you some.